Our next inductee is the Scottish rugby legend, Jim Telfer. The former headmaster won 25 caps for Scotland, 10 as captain, and made eight test appearances for the British and Irish Lions on two tours in 1966 and 1968. Upon hanging up his boots, Telfer coached the Lions in their 1983 tour to New Zealand, Scotland to the Five Nations Grand Slam in 1984, and as assistant to Ian McGeechan to a second Grand Slam in 1990. After a break from coaching, Telfer was invited by McGeechan to become forwards coach of the triumphant Lions Tour of South Africa in 1997. Through his technical know-how and stirring motivational speeches, Telfer galvanised a Lions pack written off by the local press and they laid the platform for a 2-1 series victory. It is my pleasure and honour to induct Jim Telfer into the World Rugby Hall of Fame. Hi Jim, how are you? you you're looking very comfortable there. Hello John, uh, I've been trying to think when I last saw you. It must be close to 20, 30 years, uh, probably in Australia, uh, when I was out there co uh, on a coaching course. Uh, so it's nice to talk to you. Uh, you haven't changed much, unlike me. As I get older, I get more cranky looking, but uh, you you look as fit as ever. Oh, you're very kind, Jim, very kind. You might need new glasses. But uh, look, congratulations on your induction into the World Rugby Hall of Fame. It, it gives me a great thrill to be able to uh, to make this call to you today. How does it feel? Yeah, I'm obviously tremendously honoured, but very humble about it as well, because there's so few, especially from Scotland, who are ever uh, given that honour. I mean, when I see some of the names of play, uh, players and coaches and administrators, from other parts of the world, it really is, you know, very humbling to be put in such a gust company. Jim, I see you've been given some lovely memorabilia to mark the occasion as well. Can you tell us a bit about them? Yeah, well, so far we've had the cap, uh, which I have here. Uh, so that goes along with the Lions cap that. Uh, I was given a few years ago, and the Scottish Cup was about 50 odd years ago, so that's uh, <clears throat> tremendously nice to get. I've got a, a pin as well uh, to remember the occasion, uh, and I believe there's a very expensive watch coming as well, but I'm still waiting for that to come, but it'll come in due course. So I'm very pleased with, the, with the, all the things I've had. Very good to hear, Jim. And can you tell us about the most memorable time in your career for you? That's a diff very difficult one uh, to pinpoint one particular episode. But I think uh, I would take the 1997 Lions tour to uh, uh, South Africa, where I was assistant coach to Ian McGeechan and Fran Cotton was the, the manager. And we won the series 2-1. That date, I think it was the 28th of June, 1997, when we beat them at Durban, uh, when Jerry Guscott dropped the goal. That was the, the moment I'll remember. And of course, you've been involved with Scottish rugby for decades. How important is Scottish rugby to you? Well, for, for quite a large part of my life, it was all of my life, to be quite honest, since, uh, since I was about 17 or 18, right up to when I retired from the Scottish Rugby Union at 63, I was involved in top class rugby, either at club level, district level, the Scottish level or line. So I feel that uh, I'm really indebted to, first of all, my club, uh, Melrose, uh, uh, then my officials in, in my country in Scotland uh, for all the opportunities I've been given. Uh, and. Uh, I can never thank them for all the, you know, the opportunities I've been given by them. Well, Jim, you're not only a great servant to Scottish rugby, but also a wonderful contributor to world rugby. Congratulations again on your induction into the World Rugby Hall of Fame. And I look forward to catching up again in person in the future. We really need to get a date in the diary. I've thought about a cruise around uh, Australia and New Zealand in the next couple of years. So maybe if, I, if I'd mentioned, managed that with my wife, we can uh, 
I think you live in Sydney, maybe we could meet up in Sydney and have a, a bit, bite to eat and a drink. Nice to see you, John. <laughs> <laughs>